here's our audience. Today I'm going to inform you why I believe uh, 3800 series uh, engines in the Buicks and GMs are one of the best engines ever made. Um, my sources are Wikipedia um, the, on the Buick 3800 V6 and also the Ward's Engines 10 Best Awards on wikipedia.com um, for my references. Uh, the Buick V6, initially marketed as a fireball, it had its introduction in 1962. Uh, it was a large V6 used by General Motors. Uh, General Motors makes GMCs, Buicks, Chevys, and Cadillacs, and numerous others. Um, the block is made of cast iron and um, has a two, two valve per cylinder uh, iron heads attached by push rods. Uh, the engine was produced in a plant in North Flint, Michigan. Uh, the 3800 was on the Ward's 10 best engines of the 20th century list um, and made Ward's early 10 best list multiple times um, and is one of the most produced engines in history. To date, over 25 million have been produced. Uh, Ward's 10 best engines has any list of 10 best automobile engines available in the U.S. market uh, that are selected of Ward's Automo Auto World magazine. The list was created in 1994 and has been drawn every year since then. Engines must be available in regular production vehicles on sale in the U.S. market uh, no later than the first quarter of the year. Uh, to be eligible, the engine also must be available in a vehicle with a base price of no more than $54,000. Uh, during a two-month testing period, Ward's editors evaluate each engine according to a number of objective and subjective criteria in everyday driving situations. Uh, there is no instrumental testing. The selection takes into account power and torque output. Uh, noise, vibration, and harshness levels, technical relevance, and basic comparative numbers. Each engine, engine competes against all others. Um, I'll get back to the Buick, uh, or the Series 1 engine, the 3800. Um, the first, the, the Series 1, um, that's a definition, it's a newer version of the first original was introduced in 1962, but the, the Series 1 was introduced in 1988. Uh, uh, Multi-port fuel injection, it was a major redesign, uh, no more no more carburetion, redesigned uh, fuel injection. This generation continued to use in several GM productions into the 1990s. Uh, it produced 165 horsepower and 210 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, there was also a supercharged engine which produces more power. The engine went through many internal changes and the horsepower changes rapidly between the time it was introduced and the time the Series 2 was introduced. Uh, the supercharger is an M62 supercharger. It was manufactured by Eaton, a uh, supercharger company um, other outside of General Motors that produced the engine. Horsepower is rated at 205 from 1991 to through 1992. Um, engine models may vary. They put them in all kinds of GM vehicles, uh, Pontiacs, Buicks, all kinds. Uh, the Series Two is in my that I have in my own personal car, my '98 Buick Park Avenue. Uh, this Series Two engine was introduced in 1995. The Series Two is quite a different engine. Uh, although the stroke for the 3.8 liter engine remained at 3.2 inches and the bore remained at 3.8 inches, the engine arch architecture was vastly changed. The deck height is shorter than the Series 1, reducing weight and total engine package size. The requ this required that the piston connecting rods be shortened to 1 inch and the crankshaft was also redesigned. A new intake was redesigned for to improve breathing uh, while the redesigned cylinder head figure larger valves and higher compression ratio. The more air you have coming into an engine, the more power you can make. Uh, this was result was 205 horsepower and 230 foot-pounds of torque 
Better fuel economy and 26 pounds lighter than the Series 1 engine. Uh, the new intake manifold, as I said, and improved airflow uh, to meet emission standards. Emissions for uh, so the they can sell them in the U.S. market to not pollute the air as much. Uh, the uh, Series 2 is, uh, had a supercharged version also. Um, it's called the L67 motor. That's in my car. The version of the Series 2 is appeared in 1996, one year after the normally aspirated version did. Um, this uses a larger throttle body, fuel injection, fuel injectors, cylinder heads, and lower intake manifold than the L36 uses. Both engines share the same block. Horsepower is up from 205 to 240, and the torque from 230 to 280 foot-pounds. Um, the Series 3 engine, which is a newer version than mine, 